Childish Gambino, Yoshinya, and I've heard this is a Drake diss, and for those who don't know, this is not the first time Childish Gambino has dissed Drake, but before I get to this video, hit that thumbs up button, this video got a 10,000 thumbs up goal. Let's get it, KBD family. And if you rock, rock with me, hit that spam hat. That's my brother, don't you know it? I stuck around like yo, she know it. Stone Mountain Reed and the cast of coil. This my life, I must enjoy it. This my life, it busts for it. Hold on. Is he saying that's my brother, like Yoshin? Oh, or is he saying like Yoshin? So Yoshinya is a food, or it's a restaurant. What does it mean in Jap means luck in Japanese? No me nigga what? Okay, so I think it's good luck is what he's saying. Okay. A Yoshi no Yoshi. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Mario Bar. Play what you can be. <laughs> That's my brother, don't you know it? I stuck around like yo, she know it. Stone Mountain Reed and the cast of coil. This my life, I must enjoy it. This my life, they bust before. We don't hold back, we must move forward. Stay where you at, you're supposed to, boy. Niggas is fake, I won't ignore it. I put your boy in the seat. You got your business streets. I wash my hands when I eat. I never handle the key. I don't know no one BD, but they depended on me. Niggas don't know where I'm at. I find your house on the app. People love this beat I, I love the production choice like it's 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 reminiscent of something that could be maybe coming from like somewhere in the motherland i don't know um there's that nice drum pattern i like the sample running through the whole thing i like that gambino is while he is an artist who can be very eclectic he also knows what just good music sounds like so he's not going for like offensive or doing too much you know to get to doing too much on the floor he's doing a great job i feel like Gambino's one of them dudes where people always want to talk about him like, okay, he, he be doing, the nigga don't wear deodorant and stuff like that. And while he might smell like ass, I'm not going to argue that, I think he is a once-in-a-lifetime type of artist. Between what he's done on Atlanta, between his musical career, and this is going to be the last Childish Gambino project. And I, I'll miss him. Like, this is America. Th no matter what you say, 3005, I'll miss Gambino. I ain't going to lie. You got your business streets. I wash my hands when I eat. I never handle the A lot of niggas probably shocked. Like, okay, so you like Childish Gambino? Yeah. If you go watch that one reaction I did to his freestyle where he's in the card again, that shit damn near bring tears to my eyes. Boy in the seat. You got your business streets. I wash my hands when I eat. I never handle the key. I don't know no one BD, but they depended on me. Niggas don't know where I'm at. I find your house on the app. People around you ain't slept. They plotting hard when you flat. They got a... Oh, let me break some bars down, folks. Hold on. Let me put my bar focals on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I found them. I found your location on an app. That's a good PDF file bar because they have to register their location. If you look at the Not Like Us photo art, it's Drake's crib with the little thingy on it. Watch what he's doing. He's saying that these people with you isn't slime. That's another narrative of young thug we might be talking about, but just saying that these niggas you think is gang with you is not gang with you, and everybody knows that. Everybody, let's be real. Let's be real. And as a real street dude, I'm going to tell y'all this right now. You can't be famous, then join a gang. It don't work like that. You can't get, you, if you in the gang first, cool, and become famous, cool, but you can't become famous, we'll never respect it. We'll always look at you as a lick. You will become more of a business opportunity than an actual member. I'm just, I'm the Takashi Six Nines, the Chris Browns. I love Breezy, but. I find your house on the app. People around you ain't slept. They plotting hard when you flat. They got a gun in your bed. Just who you trust when you're sleeping at night. I'm in the mirror. I see what I like. It is. I wonder is the beef with Drake and Gambino um, stem back to. It has to be a woman, but he's saying, you know, these niggas. Your own homies is stabbing you in the back. That's what it is. I'm right when I'm right. Fuck with my kids. You fuck with your life. You fucking these hoes. I'm fucking my wife. It can't not sell in my knife. Grown man bar right there. Fucking these hoes. I'm fucking my wife. It can't not sell in my knife. Think you won't do it. I might. I gotta do it. I like. I gotta. I love this. My brother. Don't you know it? So bell and yarn from yours. You know it. Stone Mountain Reed and the cast of coil. This my life. Nigga, this is hard. 
my last Childish Gambino reaction. I'm on some shit recently where I just, I need to make this the house of hip hop. So this channel's only about hip hop and what's fire in hip hop and, you know, giving hip hop their chance. Hit that thumbs up button though, because as we change in, the algorithm change in, and a queso could use all the help he can get. So hit that thumbs up button, gang. You where you supposed to, boy? Niggas is fake, I'm on it. Niggas is fake, I right, Yoshi, you know it. Mm. Boy, this nigga Gambino know how to make a song. This is red for old heads who never like my short shorts and pro kids. So he's going, let me tap super into the hip hop elements. This is more of a boom bap kind of energy. And he's just doing this for the real niggas. Because yeah, Gambino, when you came around, when you came around, it was jarring. Let me be real, man. Niggas grew up on 50. Niggas grew up on, on J, on the locks, on DMX. So yeah, bro, when you came through with these pink short shorts, nigga, it was a little jarring for real niggas, right? Real niggas had never worn pink short shorts at the time. You know what I'm saying? Now, my shorts be a little shorter, but they sure as fuck don't be short shorts. Then they definitely, you can't really even put one short on my shorts. I need them to go right to my knee now. Back in the day, they needed to go a little bit below my knee. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. This is a cold red for old heads who never liked my short shorts and pro kids. Mm. Been a minute since he had to fit it on a notepad. Mm. I was busy building up the life that niggas don't have. Oh! Money make you lonely, it ain't so bad. Yup! jokes are so dead, but haven't seen their son in a month. Sold some apple stock to buy. Oh my god! This nigga said you're, jo you're telling dad jokes and ain't seen your kids in months. Nigga, I just sold some apples. Like apples, my tree, kids. Bar, nigga. And I think we, people play like this guy can't rap, but he can. And in the end, they will realize that we, that you've been God. That this nigga been been able to rap. It's just he's different, man. And we, we got to embrace different. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing that happened to like a Kanye West. When Kanye came in the game, niggas was looking at him like, what is this? This is this ain't my normal hip hop. This ain't, it was closer to like Pharrell and stuff, which is hip hop. But it's like, this isn't my normal hip hop. I, I This is wrong. I don't like this. You got to. It's just people hate what they can't understand, right? And Gambino's sort of exploring that and still saying, nigga, I worked my ass off, made myself an icon in entertainment, which he is, and I that's why I haven't been making music as much, because I've been creating a life you niggas don't have. Farm I needed to stunt. I told him take the back end points. He wanted the front. Now it's career so blunt. He's wrapped up. Back end points. He wanted This nigga said he told y'all to take back in. So he's telling you, instead of me pay you right now, come get a percentage of my royalties. And he, the guy wanted it up front. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to invest and believe in Gambi. And now that guy got that little money and could have been getting paid for the rest of his life off of a, I don't know what Gambino sold, but it's crazy. Street Comic Con, the industry evil people. Me and fam got a trauma bond. Drive like the Autobahn. Integrity whore. Say what I mean. Apologize if I didn't. Or clarify if it's written in stone. Freak it and leave it alone. Give it time. Let the truth come to light. Let them catch up. Niggas mm. peeping like, damn, he was right. Rather have my foot on their neck than their hand on the mic. Oh! I'd rather have my foot on their neck than their hand on the mic. Talk that shit, nigga. Yeah, no, nah, what, what, what I learned nowadays, because I'm 26, you know what I'm saying? I always say I'm an old young nigga, right? I got to tell my old, old niggas, like, now nah, you got to be careful, man. These, these new niggas, they'll shoot you as soon as the nail polish dry. They'll let that, they'll shoot you as soon as the nail, you don't, you can't judge a book by a cover more than ever right now. Ever. my foot on their neck than they hand on the mic. I'd rather die. Dressing like a hype beast. Used to get the peach milkshake and add the eight piece. White boy throwing dirt on my name for the think piece. Checks off death mm, murder. White boys throwing dirt on my name for the think piece. That's a diss at complex. Some people used to call him corny. Um, Gambino has always had such a like a uh, uh, hip hop media never embraced Childish Gambino at all. They've always looked at him as this like uh, ugly stepchild, right? And 
that took him down a path of which made him much more successful, I think, financially than if he would have just played the music card. But he was already like a comedian and an actor before music too. He's just an all around entertainer. And at first we weren't sure is it like like are you like a little dicky? But it's not. No. Once you start making songs like This Is America and stuff, it's crazy. I'll still be I'll say this right now. I feel like Lil Dicky had this opportunity to do the same thing. If Dicky would have started making a little more serious music, I think we would look at Dicky way differently right now because of that. I think Dicky would have been up because these guys can rap. When it comes to just putting pen to pad, they can do it. You just sort of got to show us your artistry sometimes, you know? Like, show us your true artistry. Put a pink piece, checks off, death, murder, and pain leave you empty. I curse you with that knowledge. Put their hands on a woman for the clout, but said I'm wild and death before the sauna on my mom like he Put their hands on a woman for the clout, but said I'm wild and death before the sauna on my mom like Kiki Palmer. I'm allergic to the drama. You saw me in Tyler. I'm allergic to this rap shit. Made a song, but spent more time writing the caption. I'm an actor. I love that. He's allergic to the drama. You see me and Tyler. When niggas try to pit him and Tyler, the creator, against each other, he didn't do that. Same people try to pit him and Chance against each other. He wouldn't go for that. I feel that. This is a nigga who just want to make art. He ain't He ain't here for the game. You can put that on set. I'm about that action. My tweets all lowercase. I saw these niggas capping. My whole girl said she was stalker, so we ain't dapping. I don't see you, man. What happened? What happened? Man, the blog era overtaking all our stars. My favorite spot was about to close, so I made some calls. Bitch, nigga, eat a dick and doggy bag the balls. The blog era is over. They're taking all our stars. Who, who's your favorite rapper to come out from that blog era? Mine would be Chief Keef. You know, although he did come out, it was a different type of blog. But yeah, 100%. That Chief Keef came out at the very tail end of the blog era. Or we thought like Perez Hilton blog era, because that was nasty work. That was a nasty time. You know what? You've never heard of Shaka Khan? What are they teaching you in school? Oh God, oh God. That was a certified vibe check. It comes another reaction by Mary here, bing. Music video by Mary there, bow, click on it, show me some love. I think he, that was fire. The 50 year, almost 50, dressing like, like hype beast. I like that, I like that. Especially as far as the discos, where you go, I'm gonna make a disc, but I'm gonna make a dope song. Childish Gambino knock that shit out the park. Certified vibe check, I'm out of there. Hit the thumbs up button, y'all. Let's get it.